If you don't know which type of e-commerce store you should make, we're gonna cover one product stores, general stores, and niche stores in this video, which one is the best and why. My name is Brett, also known as Lord Ecom. I'm gonna help you make the most well-informed decision while you build your Shopify store. If you didn't already, subscribe to the channel. Let's go. Okay, the first one we're gonna talk about is general stores. And we're gonna start out with the pros. You can add any type of product to your store from any niche, and it's a way to test products really quickly. General stores are a good way to find winning products if you plan on building one product stores around those winners later on. But this is also time consuming because you're going to be making a second store after you find that winner, which isn't ideal. You can use a general store to find a niche you enjoy and test everything. The, the sky's the limit. So you could test unicorn toys, kids toys, mother products, um, gym wear, all of this stuff in a general store. But let's go over some of the cons of having a general store now. Your pixel becomes confused because you're receiving data from multiple different niches. And if you don't know what a pixel is, basically it holds data for your store and it can't build data in one category if you have products in several different niches. So having a general store kind of defeats the purpose of branding, which means you're not known for one specific market. This can completely ruin your margins because the branding just isn't there. And we would definitely like to brand down a store so we can actually be worth something in the future. You're unable to build an audience in one specific niche, like I was saying before. So you never are really able to optimize your email list either, which is a huge downfall of general stores. And you can't optimize your social media followings for the best row as possible. And it's, it's just something that I never really found to work for me. Yeah, honestly, just like I said, General Store is my least favorite out of the three, and I've tested two General Stores before. I've never been profitable with a General Store, just a little food for thought. The second type of store, One Product Stores. Here's the pros of it. You can do great branding with a One Product Store. So tying your domain name into the product to the logo you could have everything congruent and it's really easy to do uh, you do have high margins and one product stores usually have a great conversion rate if you can get the product to hit you can utilize your email list and social platforms well to your advantage because the the branding is there once again especially once you add on new features to your existing product and you start enhancing the initial product and making it better uh, you're, you're focused only on one product, so you'll have all of your energy devoted to a very simple funnel and you're not and you're not testing all these different things. So that's definitely a strong point. If you're bulk ordering, there's only one product, so you're likely to have a few amount of SKUs. Uh, SKUs are like variants, colors. So this is way simpler than if you have a store with like 50 different SKUs to manage, um, hence a clothing store, or if you have like 80 different products. So that's definitely the pros of a one product store. Now let's talk about the cons of a one product store. The first one, there's more pressure because if you can't seem to sell your product, you're gonna waste time building the store you're gonna waste time building the logos, social media accounts, and whatever else you need to build. Set up apps, this, that. You'll have to reinvest your money into building a new store every time. And then you'll have to do your research all over again, which is a huge con. If you start with one puppy dog toy, it doesn't work for you. You're gonna have to make a whole new store for a new product and I've made five of these personally. I, I didn't get them to hit. At the time, my knowledge was a lot less than where it is now. But it's just not an ideal way to go for me. So before starting your one product store, 
you're gonna have to conduct heavy research on the product and why people will buy it. Because there's no room to pivot your brand if something doesn't work. You only have one product. So your AOV is going to be lower. AOV is average order value. There's not really room for upsells, cross sells, complementary products to boost up your cart's value like you can in a general or a niche store. Another con is your domain usually represents the type of product you're selling. So if your product fails, it's not like you could just go and test another one on the same store. If you're going this route, I recommend making a niche store first, then making a one product store when you find a proven winner and know your audience. That would be my way to do it. And now my favorite, niche stores. So the pros of a niche store, the first one, you're able to build a dedicated audience in one niche. This means learn what they want, what your customers don't want, and become more experienced in the niche, step by step, until you know the niche like it's the back of your hand. And this is gonna increase your success rate. With a niche store, you can test multiple products within the same niche, and that's another reason why I really love it. Your AOV increases because you can introduce upsells, cross sells, and down sells within the same niche. So everything is still relevant to the shopper experience and what they already have in their cart. All of the data you're building in a niche store stays congruent, which leads you to building strong pixels, strong social media platforms, and everything else. Everyone on your email list in a niche store and social media platforms like I just said, they're all going to be a relevant customer and this really helps increase your customer's LTV, which is lifetime value. Increasing your customer's lifetime value is gonna be huge for increasing revenue throughout the year and even next year and the year after that. This is how you build long-term brands that you can sell for hundreds of thousands, millions in the future if you do everything correctly, depending on how far you really take your brand. Yeah, so you can brand niche stores extremely well. This gives your business a high perceived value, which is going to also lead to higher margins in your business. It's simple to find and learn from competitors in a niche. And this is why niche stores are by far my favorite. They're the only type of store that I've started from scratch and have been consistently profitable with. All right, let's move on to the cons. Here's some cons of a niche store. You can't test multiple niches with one store. You need to commit to one from the start. This is why I always recommend to build a business around your lifestyle already. If you build a, a business around your life and how you live and hobbies you do and stuff you like, one, you already love doing those things, so you're not gonna get tired of your business. And now you can make money off of doing something you love. It's definitely worth it to build a niche store niche store, however you want to say it. They're my favorite and I, I really do enjoy working in that field, in that area. With a general store, you're not going to have a passion for it. With one product store, it could be hit or miss, especially for a lot of you new entrepreneurs starting up dropshipping or e-commerce businesses. If you need help with your branding, running ads, you just need some consulting in general, you can always hit me up on my Instagram at lord.ecom or you can send me an email at thelordofecom at gmail.com or you can message me on Facebook at Brett Fallerino. If I'm open and I'm willing to take on students at the time, um, we can see what we do. If you have a good idea, you have a good product and you seem capable, I'll definitely consider taking you on and we can start to grow your business to either high five figures or six figures. 
I haven't hit seven figures yet, so I won't promise that. But send me a message if you need some help, you wanna grow your business, and you're serious. Subscribe to the channel, drop a like, that's the difference between a general niche and a one product store. I recommend you do niche. I'll catch you in the next one. Stay beast, my lords. Peace.